Hi everyone, Adam Parrish from LearnBridge Online. I wanna share a hand with you today from my Thursday Declare Play class. Like all the hands I bring in, this is a real life hand that happened, I was playing with a student. Um, and so I'm just replaying the hand on bridge base. You can always, after the lesson, play these hands on bridge base and then listen to me drone on about what I think about them. So on this hand, West has opened a weak two bid in diamonds. Our partner made a takeout double. East raised the diamonds. And we threw in three spades. And then our crazy partner bid six spades. Teach us to bid, right? But you know, we see the hand and okay, partner has their bid. Partner has a pretty good hand here. So what do we know about the hand? Well, West opened two diamonds and East raised and we have three between us. So they have 10. So maybe they're like six and four, something like that. Um, but then West didn't lead a diamond. They led a club. Well, when they lead our side suit, where we have eight, it's usually a singleton. So I'm not super wild um, about the possibilities of this club suit and this club finesse, but I don't know yet. Let's, let's look at the whole hand. So I'm going to start by counting my losers, and I'm counting from the south hand, the master hand that has more trumps. And so I don't have any losers in spades. I have one loser in hearts. I don't have any losers in diamonds. And I have one or two losers in clubs, depending on the way you think about it. But we're going to say one loser. So a loser in clubs, a loser in hearts. There's nothing I can do about the heart loser. I have the ace and king that I'm missing. You know, I can't do anything about it. The club, I can take a finesse, right? It looks like, okay, I just you know, lead the jack, hope it, hope West has the queen, hope the suit splits. But the combination of West preempted, so they're less likely to have the queen of clubs, and then they led the club, very likely a singleton, I would not like to count on this club finesse unless I absolutely have to. Is there an alternative? Right? Before I commit myself to this club finesse, I want to see if there's something else I can do. Is there another way that I could get rid of these club losers? And the answer is, well, maybe I can set up hearts. Right? If I can set up a couple pitches in the heart suit, I can throw my clubs away. So that's going to be my general plan on the hand. So I'm going to win this first trick, and I'm going to ask myself, is there any reason not to draw trumps here? Not particularly, no. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw trumps. And I want to end in my hand. So I take the top two and they split. That's nice. And I'll play the ten of hearts. And when they duck, I'll play small. Right? And this hand can't lead uh, a club. And, you know, maybe I should have unblocked the King of Diamonds. That would have been a smart thing to do, but I didn't do it. Silly Adam. Uh, so I got to take this here. And I got to play the Ace of Hearts. And, oh, I got lucky today that that Queen falls. All right? And so now I'm going to get the Jack. And the Nine is good. And I can throw these clubs away. And I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Right, and this is good. And I'm going to throw my ace just for a flourish. Um, and I've got it here. I would have done a little bit better if I had been thinking it through a little further. I should have taken that king of diamonds earlier on there. Um, and then I wouldn't have gotten stuck on the board the way I did. Whoopsies, you know. I got it wrong. That's a learning opportunity, right? I thought it through. I didn't think that far ahead, and I missed a step. That's fantastic. I love it when I get something that little bit wrong, and we can all learn from it together. All right? So that's the basic format of my Thursday class. You play the hand. I go through it, and we learn together. And I talk.
talk through the thought process. And I don't care what the actual layout of the hand is or your result. I care about the thought process and how you're thinking about the hand and making a plan. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in my Thursday class sometime. Bye.